Good morning and welcome back to episode 10 of our survival let's play on no man's land. Today we've got we've got a good chunk of stuff to do to be honest. Whether we're gonna get it all done in a, this episode or not, I don't know, but the very first thing we're gonna do is sort this field I was gonna say field number one, which really it is. It's the field that we started in. We're going to get this lined, which will be the first time we line one of our fields. And then we're going to get it seeded. I know it says it needs rolling. We ain't got a chance of doing that. Not a hope in hell of getting that rolled. Our next purchase really needs to be a... Two cents, I just want to... Make sure this goes right. Our next purchase really needs to be a weeder. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that's ran out already. So, prior to clicking into the next in-game day, and I'm on times one, two seconds, I'll just get this changed. So yeah, prior to clicking into this in-game day, I brought a full load of lime down, which was 350 euros. Um, basically, it took three trips because I don't have a front loader, I don't have a trailer, so I had no option other than just to go back and forth. I had a full tank of fuel, and what I've got left is the three trips. Basically, right. <laughs> this is absolutely soul destroying. I mean, with this, it's not even the the money. It's three hundred and fifty euros a bag. I'm not bothered about that. What I am bothered about is just the absolute mess on. Of not being able to put it on a trailer. I don't know if this is going to be big enough or not. Yeah, it is. Right, we'll get that off. We'll get that knocked down. And down. And we'll try that. Right, that's as low as we can go. I'm not going back. If we run out, we run out. There'll just be a little square at the bottom, which is going to be. Right. Do I want to do that? The thing is, we've done that field. That field needs liming as well. But I can't do that. There's no... I can't just keep going back and forth. It's going to cost us an absolute fortune in fuel. Nah, it's going to have to be left. Right, give us two seconds. I'll just change over. Okay, I will it. I can't just let this one tiny patch go so I've been up we've got one spreader full and I won't be going back up today well certainly not in this video it might be in this in game day and I'm back on times one I'm going to have to get that changed again right let's get this changed So, we've got our fertiliser over to the left. I think if we put our lime here. And then I will ditch that there for now and get straight on our cedar. Oh, the other thing, while we're off camera as well. I got the, um, in fact it wasn't this time, I think, 
Did I do it in yesterday's in game day? I might have. I changed the tyres back over to standard as well. Right, get that unfolded first. Get switched on. Oh, this is going to be really slow again, isn't it? But I just. I can't afford. I li literally can't afford to do the tractor. It's going to cost us close to nine grand to get that tractor done, to get it fully repaired. And I just haven't got the money to do it. Well, as you can see, I've got less than five. And we need a weeder, and I think the weeder's something like nine and a half. So, in-game day, the next in-game day, April, I need a weeder. We've had the year where we can just grow on what we've got. Really now, regardless that we're playing on everything as difficult as we can. We really now need to be improving the quality. So if we just jump out. So, weeds are growing, it says weeder, and it needs rolling, which we know that we just, certainly not this year, we're not going to be able to do. Um, for those that are watching it aren't aware, we're not allowed to lease any, any item whatsoever. So, leasing's completely off the table. We already have a five hundred thousand pound loan, pound euro loan that we need to pay back. And every single setting that we can put on is at its highest. So economy's on hard, vehicle wears on hard. Fuel usage is on high, dirt's on high, just everything. I can't make it any harder basically. Apart from starting in the minus, which I think we effectively did once um, once we started cutting up the trees, just for fuel on the chainsaw. It is as difficult as we can get. Those rocks are massive as well, aren't they? Absolutely huge. Right, I was going to do this. Well, I say I was. I wanted to do this in real time. Because the field's not that big, really. But when it's bouncing between 2 and 3 miles an hour, there's no way I can do this in real time. We'll be here all night. So it's how long I wait, basically. Which isn't going to be long because we're going to go into a time lapse now. There's no way I'm going to sit here. Um, keeping this on like this. So, we'll go into a time lapse. When we come back, this will be done and we'll move on to the next video.
That was being painful is an absolute understatement. That has took ages. I don't even know in game time wise what we were on. But oh my god, that has been awful. And the worst thing about it is there's like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Would we so I mean look at that slipping. There is nothing we can do. Because of the way we're playing, because of the way we've set up this game, there is nothing we can do. We haven't got the funds to buy a new tractor. We can't repair this one. Right, thank God for that. So yeah, what? I just... I don't know what we meant to do with that. I mean, when we see them at probably an average of two mile an hour, sometimes just stopping, absolute stopping dead in our tracks. What on earth are we meant to do with that? I mean, I've looked. There is, and I'd be interested in trying it as well. There's the little Zeta 25 horsepower tractor. I'm starting to think, would it be worth buying that? I think it's about nine and a half grand, nine grand, nine and a half, something like that. Buying that and just seeing if that works better than what this does. Because it'll be brand new, we won't have the mass amount of wear and tear on it. Oh, please don't be the same. I was going to say I thought this this was faster last time. Right, eight mile now you can live with that, can't you? But yeah, I mean. Other from that, you've got a. I can't remember what the tractor's called. It begins with a B. It's the yellow and green one. Um, that's at about 35. It's 30 something anyway, it's under 40. There's a bale I've missed. But I think that's only 100 horsepower. But again, be a brand new tractor. Um, and then you've got, I think it's a really old Deutz. That's quite high actually, it's about 150. Um, but I mean, that one's quite limited, I don't think you can put a front loader to it, you can't put narrow tyres to it, it's just... It'll be quite one dimensional to be honest. But it would work. We can fit the narrows to this. We can fit a front loader to this. And it wouldn't make that much of a difference. I've also looked at other cedars as well. Whether we drop the horsepower requirement on our cedar. Um, maybe that's a route down, but I mean, that again, it's just. It's buying that new equipment, isn't it? And ideally, you think, we started with a cedar. I know. It's got many hours on it. And it's quite, I say quite, it is. For what we're working with, it's a really high horsepower requirement 125 horsepower, our cedar takes. Which, when 
If you think the way a survival sort of let's play, how we play, would start, you wouldn't be using a 124, uh, 125 horsepower piece of equipment, would you? Because you wouldn't have that. You wouldn't have the ability to use that. Yeah, we're having to use that with equipment that's just absolutely wrecked. So at the minute, I don't know what the answer is. That's... I think that's a long and short way of saying it. Going back to answers. The Cunning Plan. I think the Cunning Plan... If we were playing on any other mode other than hard it would be working because we'd be getting pretty much double the amount of property income and I'm not sure about sold products but we're not selling as many as what I thought so basically at the minute we're getting about half of what our loan payment is And really, with them two placeables, I'd have, expect, I'd have expected them to cover it. So I think we're pretty much one placeable away. From, if not covering it, then at least being extremely close. So the question is now, do I miss that tiny little bit there and have to go back and do it? Oh, there's another one. I mean, why wouldn't you have two? Do we buy the placeable, which would be the solar panel? Or do we buy the weeder, which we'll, in, we'll need to improve the yield of the crops? That is the dilemma. And again, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer for it because obviously you want to improve the yield. Gives us more money, and I think weeds is quite a big one as well, isn't it? It's about 15%, something like that. It's a decent amount, anyway. But then, by getting a placeable, the thing with placeables, you want them as early as possible, don't you? Because they generate you more money. So, again, whether it's a uh, a question without a right answer or not. I don't know. Have you seen our fuel? That is utterly ridiculous. So, just before we started recording this, I clicked into the next in game day and I refueled. It was all the way at the top. All we've done is a few trips to the store to pick up the line and seeded field number one. That is it. And we're at half a tank of fuel. I mean, what this feels like is, I don't know if, I'm sure it's the same in places like the States and Australia and places where, and Brazil, places where I know that people watch these videos from. 
just from the analytics from YouTube. But there's a game called Whack-A-Mole. And in Whack-A-Mole, you have something like, I don't know, maybe about 16 holes in front of you. You get them at arcades. And you get about 16 holes in front of you. And you get a mallet. And every now and again, in these 16 holes, in a random order, a mole pops up. And you have to whack it on the head. And for each one you get, each one you hit, you get a point. No Man's Land on all these settings feel like whack-a-mole. I am constantly, I'm not going to swear, I am constantly getting hit on the head by something. Fuel costs. Vehicle wear costs. Seed costs. Fertiliser costs. Timber prices plummeting. Boat prices plummeting. And it's just never ending. So I think we might have just found the title for, for, the, for this episode. Whack-a-mole. Right, we will put a second and final time lapse um, on for the rest of this one. And then we'll come back once we're done. just this last sort of run here and then there's a couple of odd bits that I've missed this um, the thing I've noticed about this cultivator is it's absolutely dead on the money so with other bits of equipment you can be sort of just out so it might be a little bit wider um, forage wagons are a big one for this you can be sort of just out but still picks up with this cultivator it just if you're not within them limits it um 
it doesn't work. Which I'm not complaining about at all. Right, so I can see three more bits. There's one up here. This one here, and this final one here. And that's that cultivated. I think I will quickly get any things fertilised. I know that one at the back's going to be alright. I might fertilise... While I've got these tyres on, I might do... The field we've just been working in. Get that dropped off. And we've got seven, I was going to say seven thousand, oh my god. Are we even going to be able to pick this up? Inside. And a hundred percent realistic by the way, that is exactly how it would happen. Right. So that field ahead of us, I know is alright because it's one month behind field number three, which is one just to our left now. Right, we'll get the first lot of fertiliser down here. Oh my god, that is so big. And I can't remember if in field number one whether we need another application or not. We've definitely had one. I remember doing it. Let's stop that there. That seems alright. I think when we get to that sort of pinch point there, we'll be able to reduce it by another one. Right, that's that done, let's go and have a look up here. Right, so that needs another application, do you know what, we'll do it now. We'll quickly do it, and then end this episode, and then the next episode we can do in the same in-game day, I think. Although looking at it, it might be going across two, unless we do a bit of logging. Right, reduce this down to the smallest one. In fact, logging might not be a bad idea because then it can get us the four grand that we need for the weeding. And 
and we'll also check the price of oats in the next one as well. Right, sounds like a plan. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode.